Reverend Campbell? Here. Mr. Gilstrap? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Vice Mayor Luther? Here. Dr. Miller? I'm here. Mr. Raleigh? Here. Mayor Saunders? Here. Mr. Shanks? Here. Mr. Tomer? Right here. Please stand for the invocation. Remain standing, please. Father, we come before you to say thank you for all that you do for us every day. We thank you for this season. We thank you for your blessings. We know at this time, many people get sad, depressed, and others are happy. Touch those who do not understand. Touch those who may be experiencing things that we do not understand. For just our sins, we pray, be with us as we try to serve your people. We ask all these blessings in thy name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under communication, those who wish to speak on any item not listed on the agenda will be heard at this time. If you wish to speak on any agenda item, you will be heard when that item is considered. Yes, sir. Please come forward take your name, please. Kenneth Lynch, I reside at 129 White Street. Okay. Okay, so the concern I have is, like, um, I had an officer to come to my house where he's a contractor also, he said, for the city on a Sunday and tell me that uh, the city sent him over there to clean my yard. So I had uh, accumulated scrap and wood on my yard. I burned wood and the scrap I saved to sell, but I only have even a half a pickup load of scrap out there on the yard. The rest is wood. So I want to know why would the city send someone on a Sunday to tell me that. He brought a little sky cam picture to show me that. And on the picture you can see that it wasn't that much scrap. So um, he told me to go to the city farm and talk to the supervisor down there because they sent him out there. So I went to talk to him yesterday. I had him come out to my house and he seen what I had on the pallet and everything. So he told me take it up with my city councilman because they had an ordinance on us that we couldn't say scrap. So I want to know why we can't say we love scrap. Have you expressed this concern to city administration before tonight, sir? No, this is the first time. They said they sent me a letter, but I didn't receive it. Okay, I'm going to ask Mr. King to meet with you or his staff to discuss your concerns to see what the issues may be. Okay? All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wish to speak? Yes, sir. Your name, please. Thomas Motley, 2865 West Overdrive, Danville, Virginia. Okay. Mr. Mayor and uh, City Manager and to all the distinguished councilmen, the reason I'm here tonight is because uh, my phone has begun to ring off the hook again uh, concerning an issue. And I was observing one of the city council meetings not too long ago, and I believe some of you all are receiving some of the same calls. What is happening, and we want to thank the city manager for all the work that he's done in this community as far as providing utility bill relief. A lot of good things have happened. However, 
there are a lot of elderly folk in this city. Whatever hardships they may experience, when the lights are turned off, it's a $50 fee if they get turned off. And there is a $50 fee to get them restored. That $100 is just putting a, a stranglehold on some of the elderly and the disabled in this city. People that's on fixed income, one young lady, she gets one Social Security check, $698 a month. And she had a hardship to happen. Lights was turned off. Before she could get her services restored, she was told that she needed to pay another $50 because they were turned off and another $50 to get them turned back on. That's $100. And in the nature of this economy, and I know some of you all have probably been getting calls and some of you will know some people that's on fixed income. But $100 for a lot of folk in this city, when it comes down to it, that might be the medication money or it might be the grocery money. And then I thought about the people that were calling. All of these people are poor and on fixed income. So I was thinking while we're experiencing this Yule Tide season and everybody want to give and everybody want to help, I think this is a perfect opportunity. Now, I know it costs this city some expense when your lights now are, are disconnected because I understand you have to send someone manually to the home because if the lights went off and the stove was on, when you turn them back on, the stove is on and someone might not be in the home. I can see $50, but hitting that person twice, I think that we ought to reconsider that. And I'm asking, I come down tonight to ask you, Mr. Mayor, the city manager and all the city councilmen, I'm asking that you all, will you reconsider that? Can, can we survive with just one $50 reconnect fee as opposed to two? Because you know who is hurting? It's not hurting the middle class. It's not hurting the people that are rich. It's hurting the poor, the disabled, and, the, and people on fixed income. So I ask that if you all will reconsider that fee. Thank you, Pastor Motley. Your request has been so noted. I can tell you that those calls have been coming in. The last uh, meeting, Councilman Campbell and I mentioned the same issue, and other council members heard the same thing. So your request has been noted, and we thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Okay. Appreciate it. Anyone else would speak on any matter not listed on the agenda? Anyone? Okay, under old consideration of amending Article 10, the zoning code to create ghost signs, correction again, federation approval of minutes for the regular council meeting held November 15th, 2011, and did the same thing the last council meeting. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Dr. Miller? Second by Mr. Campbell. Discussion on the motion? Madam Clerk? Reverend Campbell? Aye. Mr. Gilstrap? Aye. Mr. Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Luther? Aye. Dr. Miller? Aye. Mr. Raleigh? Aye. Mayor Saunders? Aye. Mr. Shanks? Aye. Mr. Tomer? Aye. Old business, Federation amending Article 10, Zoning Code, to create ghost signs regulations. I open the public hearing. Anyone wish to speak? Anyone wish to speak? I close the public hearing. Council, your pleasure. Mr. Shanks? Uh, yes, Mayor. I move for adoption of an ordinance amending and reordaining certain sections of Chapter 41 entitled Zoning Ordinance of the City of Danville, including specific sections in Article 10 entitled Sign Regulations, Section D entitled Sign Definitions, Section K entitled Abandoned Signs, and adding Section T entitled Ghost Signs. Mr. Gilstrap, would that your second? Okay, discussion of the motion? Discussion on the motion, Mr. Vice Mayor. I, th I think it should be pointed out, you know, we spent a lot of time on this, which
to some people probably one of the less important things going on in, in the world today. But this final ordinance is certainly representing what a lot of people came to us, emailed us, have talked about, and it's just plain common sense. And I appreciate it going through all this. It may have gotten more attention than it deserves, but uh, it, it, it now is an ordinance I think everybody can live with, and we're not going to, I hope we don't have any further problems. Okay, further discussion? Madam Clerk. Mr. Gilstrap? Aye. Mr. Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Luther? Aye. Dr. Miller? Aye. Mr. Raleigh? Aye. Mayor Saunders? Aye. Mr. Shanks? Aye. Mr. Tomer? Aye. Reverend Campbell? Aye. I am being consideration for amending FY2012 budget provision ordinance to provide for additional state aviation funding for the purpose of completing design services to rehabilitate taxiway H at the Danville Regional Airport. Council, your pleasure. Uh, Mr. Campbell. This may I move for the ordinance amending the fiscal year 2012 budget appropriation ordinance to uh, provide <coughs> additional state aviation fund for the purpose of completing design service to rehabilitate a rehabilitative tax of weight H at Danville Regional Airport in amount of $31,200 fund for the local share in the amount of $7,800 to be provided by the general fund for a total appropriation of $39,000. Second, Mr. Raleigh. Discussion on the motion. Discussion on the motion. Madam Clerk. Mr. Jones. Aye. Vice Mayor Luther. Aye. Dr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Raleigh? Aye. Mayor Saunders? Aye. Mr. Shanks? Aye. Mr. Tony? Aye. Reverend Campbell? Aye. Mr. Gilstrap? Aye. New business consideration amending Article 3.0 of Danville City Code entitled LEDI Light Economic Development District to address the noise provision for aircraft related industries as a use allowed within the district and established regulations. I open the public hearing. Anyone wish to speak? Anyone wish to speak? Close the public hearing. Council, your pleasure. Mr. Gilstrap. Mr. Mayor, I move approval of the ordinance amending and reordaining certain sections of Chapter 41 entitled Zoning Ordinance of the Danville City Code, including specific sections in Article 3.0 entitled LED 1 Industrial Light. Economic Development District, Section B, entitled Permitted Uses, Section D, entitled permitted, permit, Prohibited Uses, and Section 1, entitled Additional Regulations. Second, Mr. Shanks. Discussion on the motion. Madam Clerk. Vice Mayor Luther. Aye. Dr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Raleigh. Aye. Mayor Saunders. Aye. Mr. Shanks. Aye. Mr. Tomer. Aye. Reverend Campbell. Aye. Mr. Gilstrap. Aye. Mr. Jones. Aye. I have consideration of amending the year 2012 land use plan from suburban single family residential to economic development, to economic development and rezoning from suburban residential to, L to LEDI, economic development industrial, at 428 and 430 Airport Drive and adjacent 5.339 acre parcel. I open the public hearing. Anyone wish to speak? Anyone wish to speak? Close the public hearing. Council, your pleasure. Mr. Shanks. Uh, yes, Mayor. I move for adoption of the ordinance amending the year 2020 land use map from suburban single family residential to economic development and rezoning from CSR suburban residential to LEDI, Light Economic Development Industrial, 430 Airport Drive otherwise known as grid 3607 block 001 parcel 3, parcel ID number 76380, an adjacent 5.339 acre parcel, otherwise known as grid 3607 block 01, parcel 04, parcel ID 77518, an adjacent 0 0.443 acre parcel, otherwise known as grid 3607 block 0001, parcel 2, 428 Airport Drive, parcel ID 76379. Okay, second by Dr. Miller. Discussion on the motion. <coughs> Discussion on the motion. <laughs> Madam Clerk. Dr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Raleigh. Aye. Mayor Saunders. Aye. Mr. Shanks. Aye. Mr. Tomer. Aye. Reverend Campbell. Aye. Mr. Gilstrap. Aye. Mr. Jones. Aye. Vice Mayor Luther. Aye. So, we granting a special use permit 
to waive lot area and width at 428 and 430 Airport Drive and adjacent 5.339 acre parcel. I open the public hearing. Anyone wish to speak? Anyone wish to speak? Close the public hearing. Councilor Pleasure. Dr. Miller. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to uh, propose, propose an ordinance granting a special use permit to waive lot area and width in accordance with Article 30, Section F, Items 2 and 3 of Chapter 41 of the Code of the City of Danville, Virginia, 1986, as amended, at 430 Airport Drive, otherwise known as Grid 3607, Block 01, Parcel 03, Parcel ID was 76380, adjacent 5.339 acre parcel, otherwise known as Grid 3607, Block 01, Parcel 04, uh, Parcel ID 77518, and an adjacent 0.443 acre parcel, otherwise known as Grid 3607, Block 001, Parcel 02, 428 Airport Drive, Parcel 76379. Period. Okay, the second, Mr. Raleigh. Discussion on the motion. Discussion on the motion. Madam Clerk. Mr. Raleigh. Aye. Mayor Saunders. Aye. Mr. Shanks. Aye. Mr. Tomer. Aye. Reverend Campbell. Aye. Mr. Gilstrap. Aye. Mr. Jones. Aye. Vice Mayor Luther. Aye. Dr. Miller. Aye. Approved. I'll amending FY 2012 budget provision ordinance to anticipate revenue from the State Department of Transportation to be used for street reconstruction and street uh, scape improvements for the River District. Council, your pleasure. Uh, Mr. Raleigh. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt an ordinance amending the fiscal year 2012 budget appropriation ordinance for projects to be undertaken within the city and to be financed, anticipating revenues from the Virginia Department of Transportation, VDOT, revenue sharing program funds in the amount of $1,400,000 for first reading. Okay, the second. Uh, Mr. Gilstrap. Discussion on the motion. Discussion on the motion. First reading. First, I'm amending section 38.5 that's 16 of Article 2 entitled Weeds as Public Nuisance of Chapter 38.5 entitled Vegetation of the Code of the City of Danville, Virginia. Council, your pleasure. Mr. Jones. Mr. Mayor, I will move we adopt an ordinance amending and reordaining section 38.5 that's 16 entitled Definitions of Article 2 entitled Weeds as Public Nuisance of Chapter 38.5 entitled Vegetation of the Code of the City of Danville, Virginia, 1986, as amended. Here, a second. Uh, Mr. Campbell, discussion on the motion. Let me start by saying uh, to counsel, to the manager, I'm receiving calls now of people wanting to bring goats onto their property, literally to take care of the weed, to cut through, et cetera. And the last call I received was uh, last week, and I told the person, let me check. And thanks to Mr. Gilly, who was in at the time I got the call, and told me, no, the ordinance does not allow that at the present time. I called the person, and they had talked to some people who own goats, and quite frankly, they leased them for this purpose. So we put that on hold. So I'm asking council and city administration to look into what we can do that will allow goats uh, on private property in the city for people who wish to purchase the goat services <laughs> on their property. And for those of us at the BML meeting um, a few months ago, there was a work a work a work session on workshop work session on using goats for weed control. Dr. Miller. Yes. Uh, yes, and, and in Charlottesville, they're, they're doing that successfully, but the city is controlling that. They're contracting with the city. It's not individuals bringing goats onto individual properties. The city is, is bringing them in uh, and contracting for that for their parks, things like that. So it's not individual parcels. Okay, so hopefully we can see what we can do to help uh, uh, these requests. Further discussion? Further, uh, Mr. Vice Mayor. At our place tonight, we have uh, three pages dated June of this year from uh, a person, uh, Neverson, property only on Ross Street. And I think is partly responsible for, for you know, this, this being on our agenda tonight. Um, when kudzu was brought in to this country for uh, basically um, to control erosion, 
I don't think anybody ever thought it was going to be a, a, a public nuisance the way it is. I hope the law that we have drafted here uh, covers all these other uh, weeds, not weeds, but uh, vines that can grow onto other people's property. I'm not sure that English ivy is the kind of ivy that's eating up my house right now. And I'm, I just want to be sure that, uh, that all of these similar things are really covered specifically in this ordinance. And if anybody's taken time to read this, uh, it will make moot every point that's, that's taken in this complaint. Because the problem is, we never had an ordinance to describe what to do about kudzu. And um, that's all I have to say. I'm going to vote in favor of it, but uh, I just hope that it, the ordinance is clear as to what's being covered by this ordinance. Okay, uh, thank you for bringing that up. Regarding this document, uh, I'm very familiar as well, and I have gone by and looked at the property several times. And I was born in Pennsylvania County on a farm. I have never seen as much kudzu in my life in one location. It's really uh, an issue. A further discussion? Further discussion? Madam Clerk? Mayor Saunders? Aye. Mr. Shanks? Aye. Mr. Tomer? Aye. Reverend Campbell? Aye. Mr. Gilstrap? Aye. Mr. Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Luther? Aye. Dr. Miller? Aye. Mr. Raleigh? Aye. Communication, Mr. Manager? I just want to wish everybody a safe and happy holiday season and our businesses, particularly our retailers and restaurants, a very prosperous season. Thank you. Mr. Turney. just also want to wish everybody a healthy and happy holiday season. Okay, Madam Clerk. Same, healthy holidays, Merry Christmas. I notice your uh, Christmassy uh, attire. Thank you for that. Okay, please call the roll. Mr. Shanks. Yes, I just wanted to say that uh, this is a special time of the year for me, and uh, especially this year, I've had the good fortune of having been touched by an angel, and uh, uh, it's a great time of year. I hope everybody has a merry, merry Christmas and a safe holiday. I especially want to wish that uh, to the citizens of Danville and all the city employees. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Thomas. Uh, yeah, I want to echo what others have said. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and enjoy time with your family. And we have a lot to be thankful for here, and I have a lot to be thankful for. And I uh, just want to wish everybody a, a great holiday season and look forward to coming back in the new year and working hard to get uh, done some of the things that we keep pushing for here on council. Uh, and I want to thank all the city employees and uh, the citizens of, of Danville for giving me the opportunity to be on council. Uh, thank you for the time. Thank you. Reverend Campbell. I wanted to pick it back on for a moment what Reverend Martin was talking about. We discussed it in the last session. I have received more phone calls. And uh, a lot of our citizens are struggling. When we put in the new system, uh, there's just a cutoff switch. And if I understand that, thought that we had that the fees would reduce because we put a new system in. And I hope that we can consider uh, this issue. For some people, $50 is not a lot. And for others, it's tremendous a lot, especially when your lights are on and you're trying to raise money to get it back on. I see it all the time, and I understand where the city is coming from. But it is a serious issue, and I hope that we can address this issue. I do wish everyone a happy, safe, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your family, eat a lot, and then lose the weight. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gilstrap. I uh, just want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy holidays and a happy New Year. Thank you. Mr. Jones. Mr. Mayor, I just want to ask the city manager, does this have to go to the utility commission? Because I see people. They're not calling me. They're catching me in Walmart as I shop. <laughs> Is there anything? Do, does this have to go to the Utility Commission? Or, yes. And can we receive a report real soon? Because people are really concerned about this $50 cutoff and $50 cutoff fee. Right. Yes, it does need to go to the Utility Commission. It's a non-consumptive fee. So the Utility Commission has to set those. I just say as a point of information, those fees have been there for years and years. 
I think people are struggling, but the fees have not changed. But we can change them. Thank you. I'd like to encourage everybody to support the holiday shootout. Oftentimes, people say there's not a lot going on in Danville. So if they're visiting our city on the 27, 28, 29, is the holiday shootout. And just in case you haven't made any resolutions or you don't plan to make any resolutions, just um, ask everyone just for 2012, just to say a prayer for our young people in the city of Danville. Just I'd like to tell everybody, enjoy your time off, enjoy the holidays, and remember to celebrate someone. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Vice Mayor Luther. Wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Dr. Miller? Just to dovetail on the utilities, again, we have the neighbors Helping Neighbors program, and I urge all of you to contribute to that. If you have a little extra money, my check will be forthcoming soon. And uh, I think anybody that can spare some extra money uh, to help your neighbor, please do so. Uh, I wish everybody a happy holiday. The city workers, a lot of them are going to have to work on Christmas and New Year's. We appreciate what you do. Uh, I think things are looking up. In, in our town, I make some predictions that next year is going to be a, a great year for Danville. Uh, the downtown is going to be torn down. New business are coming. Supercomputers is here. New streetscapes are coming. I think it's going to be a wonderful year. And, uh, you know, these, these changes downtown, we talk about the downtown, but it benefits the whole city. Uh, and one of my long-range predictions is something I'd really like to see in a few years. We talk about the Virginia Municipal League all the time and how all the cities gather in a certain city every year. I think in four or five years, and we need to try to hold that here because I think in that time frame, we'll be able to show off Danville and show how we transformed from a textile tobacco city into a technological business center in Virginia. I think what we're doing is, is really going to bear fruit in the next few years. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Rowling. Uh, Mr. Mayor, just to wish the citizens of Danville Merry Christmas. Uh, my youngest son and his wife were in town this weekend. I took them downtown. They live up in the D.C. area. Uh, and I tell you what, I think I got them a little closer back to Danville. They are really enjoying what's going on downtown. And I'd just like to thank all the entrepreneurs that uh, have put a lot of time, effort, and money into their businesses downtown. They are doing a great job. Thank you. Mayor Saunders. Uh, yes, regarding utilities, we know that a while back there were uh, a lot of concerns expressed regarding that, and the city uh, worked with the community and worked with the uh, utility commission and others, and has some form of, I guess, um, uh, redress, or not redress, I'm sorry, some form of, of uh, satisfaction uh, in terms of having a better arrangement. Tonight, the second time, um, Council has heard about this $50 on $50 off issue in, this, in, in the uh, city. So whatever can be done, I hope we'll continue to look at that. And we'll thank you, uh, Mr. Molly, for coming down and bringing it to our attention. And whatever the city can do, I'm sure we will. And thank you, Mr. King, for looking um, in, into this. Regarding downtown Danville, uh, I, too, am hearing wonderful things about our downtown. I think tonight we all had a letter from a local plant manager, uh, this year, I believe it was, commending our city on what he's hearing from out-of-town guests coming to our city, staying here for days, weeks at a time, on how impressed they are with the momentum. And I certainly hope we'll continue to, to do that. I, too, would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and, a, and Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. As I said in the invocation, this time of year, for a lot of people, they aren't happy. They're, they're sad. So let's think about them, let's pray for them, keep them in our thoughts, because it really is, in my view, a happy time. But let's understand when people have issues that they have to address. Patience, understanding, a kind word, and a kind deed will be most helpful. Merry Christmas. Meeting adjourned.